What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite side dishes, which of course is pasta salad. I mean pasta salad. And the beauty of this recipe, it's like 90 to 100 percent just prep work. I mean, there really is no cooking involved. It's just basically chopping, mixing, prepping. That's it. All right, let's get started. Now, if you're a dope like me and you forgot to get your roasted red peps, I'm going to show you this quick, easy recipe. It's really easy and it takes no time at all. All right, so what we're gonna do is get out about four to five red peppers. I'm using these small ones, so it's gonna be about four to five. If you had a, a, a bell pepper, you probably only need one. Give them a quick rinse, a quick dry, and then we're gonna bring these over to the stove, get your flame on high heat, and then get your peppers on. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it might seem and be a little intimidating, but it's not, it's super easy. Just get your peppers over the flame. You're gonna hear them start to crackle, start to hiss, make all types of noises. Just make sure that you're rotating them about every 30 seconds. And when they're nice and black like this, take them off then immediately place all your peppers into a bowl cover with plastic wrap and you want to let that steam do its job okay you want it to steam and get nice and hot so that uh charred skin is super easy to take off later okay while our roasted red peppers are doing their thing in their steam bath we shall gather the rest of our ingredients we're going to start with eight ounces of rotini pasta cook it al dente toss with a little bit of olive oil and then let it cool next ingredient six ounces of salami weigh it up cut it into some nice sized pieces get yourself a large bowl a large pan whatever you got something big that's going to hold all of this pasta salad add your salami to it and you might have to break up the pieces a little bit no big deal then we're going to add a heaping half a cup of black olives sliced and rinsed and drained and if you love olives like me you're gonna add a little extra ain't no shame and ain't no pain next we got some cucumbers we're gonna wash them and dry them now these are pretty small cucumbers actually they're not that small I would say they're pretty average if not on the bigger side now no matter the size of your cucumbers we're gonna get a nice little dice on these dice them up then we're gonna add about a cup worth right to our mixture in our pan get a small red onion and then the same thing nice small dice on this add it right to your pan and it's finally time to get our roasted red peppers out we're gonna poke some holes let some of that steam out and these are nice and warm so that charred black skin should peel right off leaving that sweet roasted red pepper skin underneath cut them open take out the guts and then cut them into some nice sized strips okay now whether or not you're using your own roasted red peppers or you bought them you're going to want to add about a half a cup right to your mixture next we're going in with 10 ounces of grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes washed and dried you know the drill a cool little trick to slice a bunch of these at once place them down on your cutting board cover with your hands press firmly and then just cut across cutting each one in half works every time just be careful you don't cut yourself because I've done that once or twice and of course add all your tomatoes right to your mixture and now it's a cheesy time you're gonna want eight ounces of fresh mozzarella now I have this little mozzarella ball thing so I'm just gonna tear off little bite-sized nice sized pieces plus them right into my mixture give this a little pre-mix action and then we're gonna add in our cooked and cooled pasta that we tossed in a little bit of olive oil to prevent any sticking give that a nice little mix there's a lot of mixing going on in this recipe okay we got some fresh parsley washed and dried are you tired of hearing me say washed and dried yet I told you that's all this recipe is is washing drying prepping and cutting so easy and once you got your parsley chopped add it to your pan you're going to want about one third cup finely chopped mix your parsley in then we're going to add one cup of either homemade or your favorite bottled italian dressing and no it really doesn't matter if it's bottled or homemade if you're looking for a recipe though for a homemade italian dressing i will leave one in the description the ingredients for one that is mix this all up now you can either enjoy this now but i like to let mine marinate for about one to two hours in the fridge before i eat it and that's it our pasta salad is ready to enjoy it's sweet it's salty it's crunchy it's fresh it's delicious and it's one of my favorite side dishes even a main dish this is even a main dish all right everyone that's it for this video that's it for me like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one